According to the World Health Statistics, 68,000 premature infants in Europe die each year. Today, the odds of extremely preterm babies being born are ever increasing. The primary reason for this is that quality of care has become an essential factor. The decline in mortalities for many years can be attributed to the advancements in medical technology. Each year, approximately 500 preterm deliveries and newborns with congenital anomalies are treated at the University of Bonn Medical Center Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. In a global comparison, the level of neonatal care in Germany and especially neonatal intensive care is definitely very advanced. We primarily treat very tiny premature babies here in this unit, that being premature infants between 22 plus zero and 37 plus zero weeks gestation. We also treat infants with birth defects and disorders who require special care, including surgeries soon after birth. Respiratory problems are the most frequent occurrences in the neonatal intensive care unit. This is the main concern with many children. One reason for this is that they're born prematurely and suffer from infant respiratory distress syndrome. Another common reason is that these children often have underdeveloped lungs, so-called pulmonary hyperplasia. The lungs of premature infants are generally immature and tend to collapse during exhalation. They lack the protective film for the pulmonary alveoli, the so-called surfactant. Without surfactant, the infants develop life-threatening respiratory distress syndrome. Aside from the injection, the children are often supported with respiratory support where continuous positive pressure is applied through a nasal mask and the infants exhale against the incoming gas. This keeps the pulmonary alveoli open during exhalation. This procedure is called CPAP, Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. The most important devices at the neonatal intensive care unit are respirators, specialized respiratory support equipment for neonatology like CPAP machines, for example. We also have the option of setting up an artificial lung for infants in severe respiratory distress. This means an extracorporeal membrane oxygenation treatment, or ECMO for short. Blood is taken from the infants and pumped through the oxygenator. It's enriched with oxygen and then returned to the children. The requirements for equipment in the neonatal intensive care unit are similar to those of adult medicine. There are definitely several special requirements for devices in the neonatal area. This includes significantly smaller tidal volumes for neonatal respirators to assist in the breathing process of preterm babies. Inpatient neonatal care is not the only place that requires special measures. The transport of premature and newborn babies also needs to be well organized since it's never easy to move premature infants to another hospital. Complications arise frequently and can worsen the health status of the infants. This is why neonatal transport systems were designed for these special cases. The transport of neonatal patients must meet very special requirements. This is first based on the size of the children and of course primarily also on temperature management. This is why we need these types of incubators that are heated and where the temperature can be controlled. We need special respirators that were specially designed to transport newborn babies. Of course, the corresponding monitoring and what's also unique about this incubator here is that we have the option to add nitrogen oxide into the ventilation so that we're also able to transport infants with severe respiratory distress syndrome in this incubator. Thanks to the introduction and continuous improvement of respiratory therapy in neonatology, the survival rate of sick premature and newborn babies could be significantly increased over the past 30 years. High flow therapy systems are expected to replace CPAP therapy. What's more, there will definitely be more and more miniaturized versions of ECMO machines so that even tiny infants can be supported with an artificial lung. But that's not all. Another request of manufacturers is to integrate intensive care unit equipment, that is to say, connecting respirators and other systems to monitor systems and, in particular, the development of patient data management systems, PDMS for short, specifically for neonatal intensive care units. There are still significant deficits in this area.